All right, YouTube, so we are back, of course, talking about some Final Fantasy VII, and today I just wanted to do a dedicated video talking about the First Soldier, the upcoming Battle Royale game set within the Final Fantasy VII universe. Now, I kind of mentioned this on Twitter recently. I don't know if, how many of you follow me on there, but I kind of wanted to do a dedicated video discussing kind of my major problem or problems with this and kind of things I do and don't like about it. And also another reason why I wanted to do this video is, of course, coming up on May 7th, we have that live stream event that's dedicated to the First Soldier that's going to give us a lot more information about it. And some of the things that I discussed within this video, like they might give us things that satiate my problems or the concerns that I have with this game. So Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale. On paper, this is something that I should absolutely be looking forward to and something that I should be excited about. Final Fantasy VII, favorite game of all time. And I'm a big fan of Battle Royale games. I've been a big fan of Battle Royale games since at least 2017, maybe a little bit before that from watching like live streams of it. But in like December or so of 2017 is whenever PUBG went into early access on Xbox. Me and my friends all hopped on. And I absolutely fell in love with the concept of a Battle Royale game. You drop in a set amount of players, last team or person alive is the winner. That's it. Very simple concept. You run around, loot, find your weapons, kill each other. I've been into first-person shooters and stuff like that for a long time. I've been playing Call of Duty for a decade plus at this point. And this was a whole new spin on a genre that I've been playing for a long time. It's still a first-person shooter, but it's a very different concept than Team Deathmatch or some shit. So again, I should be super excited for a Final Fantasy VII Battle Royale, but here's my biggest issue, my biggest concern, my biggest problem. Why the fuck is it a mobile game? Why is it only a mobile game? Why can't it be both? Is there going to be a future version that's going to come out on consoles eventually if it's popular enough, so on and so forth, or is it just perpetually going to be on cell phones forever? Because that's just... I'm not going to be playing this for a very long time if I have to sit there and stare at my phone screen for hours on end. If whenever the teaser trailer got to the end, it said like iOS, Android, and then also mentioned all the consoles, PS4, Xbox One, Series X, PS5, I'm trying to remember everything right now, Stadia, PC, like if it was coming to everything, I'd be all about it. Because you see stuff like Fortnite and going back to mentioning PUBG, like that's something that was, you know, console and PC and stuff, and they eventually moved on to like mobile phones and mobile devices and things. Like, if this was a game that is designed from the ground up to be mobile only, I don't know how much time I'm going to put into it other than, you know, playing it here and there randomly maybe. Maybe playing it when there's new updates and stuff to check out the new maps or lore or whatever the case. But I don't think it's something I'm going to invest in a lot of time in. You know, I played COD Mobile, which was, you know, regular, like, COD, so to speak, on a, on a phone. But there's also a Battle Royale to it. And that, that was fun for a little bit. But me and my friends eventually got burnt out on it. For one, it was just super, super easy. But it was also kind of boring. And they're hopping into this market that has been beaten to death over the years, right? It's still very popular. I believe Battle Royale is, like, the most popular video game genre, or one of the most. They're doing it years after, you know, it got really, really big. And is there really anything left to offer, other than it being attached to the FF7 brand? Are they really going to be, you know, offering anything new to the, to the genre? I can't imagine so. And there's something else I'm kind of curious about, and that's part of what this live stream will probably answer for us, is what exactly is this? Is, is it one giant map like most Battle Royales are, or are there going to be just a handful of decent sized maps, or maybe a bunch of smaller maps? Because we see players fighting in all kinds of different areas, but based on remakes, some of these areas aren't all that big. Like the slums, you could maybe expand it to be a little bit bigger, but then you see them fighting like around Eris House, which isn't that big of an area in terms of like a Battle Royale game. We also see some fighting inside the Sector 5 church, and again, based on remake, not a very big area so like am i spawning in like in this massive map and can i walk all the way across throughout midgar and get to the sector 5 church or is the sector 5 church within like just kind of a self-contained map i'm also kind of curious if there even is like any kind of actual looting we don't see that within the teaser or because we know that there's like classes that you can build and like progress like characters and all that other stuff like that but do you have like loadouts do you just like pick a weapon to use or do you run around looting like ars and submachine guns and sniper rifles and shit i don't know kind of curious Something that does have me excited potentially about this game that I was thinking about and something I've been bitching about for years at this point that this game could offer is all of the unseen areas within Midgar that we've just never come across, right? We've never seen in any sort of other media, even though this is set like 30 years in the past, so I don't know how much Midgar back then would be comparable to the Midgar we have now, but there could be all those different sectors in the slums that we've never ever got to see that can make those into battle royale areas so we at least have an idea of what the rest of Midgar looks like. And even beyond that, if this game ends up being, like, you know, relatively popular and they want to support it for a long time, they could eventually start adding in, like, the ability to fight all around the world of Gaia. Like, we could have Battle Royale fights within, like, Gold Saucer and Temple of the Ancients and all kinds of other areas. And that, to me, is pretty exciting. That would be pretty damn fun, to be honest. But, of course, we go back to the problem of it being a mobile game. Even as cool as it might be, I'm still having to play on my phone, which I'm just not that much of a mobile gamer. I have mobile games on my phone, just like most people out there. 
but they're kind of mindless games that you can just kind of not really pay attention to and play, whereas this is like a third-person battle royale where you're trying to fight it out, trying to survive and be the last person or team alive, and it's like you got to be super focused and into it. It's hard for me to like get immersed into a game I'm playing on my damn phone. And look, if you're somebody that isn't even a Battle Royale fan, this was never going to interest you anyways, right? And even if you are a fan of FF7 and Battle Royales, you may not have ever wanted those two to combine. And there's part of me that is, like, super weirded out by that because, for one, like, again, you're running around using, like, ARs and snipers and submachine guns to fight each other, and while that stuff does exist in the FF7 universe, it's not something we've ever really used outside of, like, the character of Vincent and, like, Barrett's gun arm, right? Like, that's kind of the arc stint of using guns with FF7, whereas, like, we're having to... I can't... A Cloud doesn't pick up, like, an MP5 or an AR-15 and start wrecking fools, right? Like, he's going on a kill streak and shit. That's not what happens with FF7. It's a fucking RPG. And obviously, we know why this is being made. It's a mobile game, microtransactions. It's here just for the money. That's it, right? They are seeming like they're going to put some story into it, which is part of what I'm looking forward to outside of the idea of getting to see more of Midgar and shit. Getting to see the early days of Shinra and, like, the conception of the soldier program, like, I'm pretty excited about that, man. That's very interesting to me. But it's a mobile fucking battle royale. That's the problem. It's the biggest issue. You put this shit on console, and they put a little more effort into it, and it's, like, big maps and shit. I'm all about it, man. But I'm, not, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna be that super invested on, on playing it on my phone. Ever Crisis is very different. Ever Crisis is gonna be, like, turn-based look, it seems like. Like, and it's retelling the FF7 compilation, it's chapter based, coming out monthly. Like, that's something I, I, I could mindlessly play. There are aspects of the first soldier that I am looking forward to and interested in, and then there's obviously my concerns, the biggest one being the platform of choice. Like, that's just, the, that's my biggest concern here. The, the one thing that I just can't let go of is like, god damn it, as cool of an idea as it is, that I would never thought I'd see. You go back a couple years when BR is getting popular, I never would have put FF7 and BR together. So conceptually, I'm there. They got me hooked a little bit. But I gotta play it on my fucking phone. And that's just, that's my biggest concern here. And then also I have just a lot of questions of what exactly this is and how it's gonna play. And that's why I'm really looking forward to this live stream event on the 7th to just hopefully really figure out what exactly this game is, man. In this video, that's pretty much the video. Just wanted to have like a discussion, I guess a bit of a rant here and there, just kind of talking about this. I don't know, man. It's such a... It's so, it's, I never... A battle Royale, man. FF7. It's crazy as hell. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments, my dudes. When it comes to the first soldier, Mobile Battle Royale, Final Fantasy VII, 30 years in the past, what are your thoughts? Are you even at, at all looking forward to this? Is, are you, is your interest peaked even a little bit? Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys only want to have more Final Fantasy VII info, I guess. In first Soldier info. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter, Dash David YT. I'm a Discord. Links for some books are in the description. End of the outro. Later, guys. Used to care what people thought. But now I care more. I mean, nobody out here has got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Logan, or leave it. Like Cobain.